What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're back on the free-to-play. We got some stuff to get taken care of. Um, we actually have a little bit of bag space for once. We can basically use these, I gotta check my friends list. Like, this is something a lot of people need to do. You need to take time and clear out these <laughs> people that just don't play anymore, because if you're not getting the hearts you need, then it is progress. I mean, like, friendship summons are decent, they're not horrible. Uh, and I feel like I have, like, no friends on my list to actually give me my daily hearts anymore. Look at this. How many people are we going down? Six days still. Four days. Four days. We'll let the one day stay. Do we have applications? Only a couple. Oh, we need friends, guys. We need friends. We only have 16, which is why we haven't been getting many friendship summons. If you want to add the free-to-play account, there's right there. Hit that pause button. Get an invite over. I'll add you. I need some friends. Ooh, a ticks. So, here's what's going on here. We've got Aspen Dungeon open today for 34.40, but our monthlies are 34.48. So it looks like we might as well jump in and kind of go all in. Like I said, we're going to get what? About 1,500 gems there. Maybe a couple thousand here. I think we're going to do good this time where I want to actually spend my gems on this event. I want to see if we can get some power. I want to see if we can get some cores out of it. And at the worst, we're not going to use profit orbs. We're just, we're probably just not going to do that at all. Um, hoping we can get to the 400, right? So that's 200. Yeah, we can, as long as I can get my gems up to here, as long as we can get just like a few thousand more, we should be fine to get to the 400. That's going to give us 15 of these search warrants. Now, if we can manage... If we can manage to get a few more luckiness off of this event, we could get an A and B. But if we somehow don't come up with the A and B, I think we're going to go for things like the five-star chest and the nine-star puppet. Either way, I want to spend these gems here. Uh, we can even cash in some of these. Might as well, because this is what we're going to get this event. Here is more magnifying glasses. We're going to purchase as many as we can right here. 14. Looks like 14. All right, here we go. This is going to be the RNG for this. We want to see as many cores as possible, scrolls, and profit orbs. These are the three things we really want to see. The other stuff's fine. And, of course, if we can high roll a search warrant like every single time, that would be perfect. So, let's do a 10 times pull and see if we get lucky on these search warrants. All right. We got one for one. That's good. Uh, star spawn cores, I don't think we need. I think I'm just going to go for like toolboxes. Toolboxes eventually will be something we need the most of. Uh, so I don't really care about the three star gear. So again, toolboxes. Here I'm going to go for profit orbs because we want rewards that are going to get us event completions in the future. Heroic scrolls, profit orbs, very big things. Um... I think I'm going to go for scrolls here. We're kind of high rolling on these search warrants too. If you guys haven't been noticing, we were getting a lot of them. Like, a lot of them. <laughs> we got a core right there. We're definitely taking that. Um, I guess the wood. I guess. Alright, now the, now the RNG is kind of coming back in line. There we go. We got another one. I will take progress over Celestial Island resources. And we got a core another one yes this feels so good so how many do we have right now seven that's solid seven out of ten that's exactly what we need to happen here we need this to happen again come on let's high roll a bunch of warrants oh we missed it there but we did get a core we got another core there we go we got that there i'm gonna go for heroic scrolls Ooh, three profit orbs that's a 500 gem profit. Nice. Where are the warrants? The RNG is failing us now. <laughs> we'll take another profit orb here. Yes, keep giving me the warrants. We're going to go for heroic scrolls over profit orbs, in my opinion. Uh, I just don't see us needing the star spawn cores, really. Oh, we're missing a lot of these warrants now. We finally hit another one. Okay, so that, that RNG leveled out. We only got 4 out of 10 there. We're up to 11. That's not bad, though. We have two more single pulls to go. Let's see what we can get. Oh, we got another one, which is really good for us. And let's pull the last one for right now. 
Wow. <laughs> three five stars okay so that brings us to a grand total of 12 but we get five more so we're up to 17 that's good we have to get here to get 10 more that brings us to 27 wait <laughs> 27 yeah so we need to manage to get three more of these we need to, of course get to 400 which means we're gonna have to keep spending more of our gemages here we're gonna have to use more of our colorful balloons by the end of the week if we can't quite get it from the gems we'll probably do profit orbs because we need this 10 right here we really 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 do so what did we get in the bag here a couple of randos for this got some artifact shards which we might as well grab them all out to see what we're working with and we have the cores to open too the cores I'm hoping to get some good stuff. Maybe a sphere. We're up to 681 scrolls. That's really good. 127 profit orbs. So even if we do one loop, it's not too bad. We'll keep saving up if we can get the artifact. This really depends on what we can get in this event. Four cores. Let's jump in. Let's see what is going to happen here. Wall deck copies. I think we still need wall decks, right? We don't have any here. Man, we already have four Ignis. That's awesome. That's almost a 10 star. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Four chances. Four chances. Can we get a sphere? It's been a little bit. It's definitely been a little bit. I feel like we might get a free sphere today too from the achievements. Ormus, no, I don't, I don't really care about you, Ormus. Come on. Give us something good. Give us, yes, there it is. Okay, thank goodness we got another one. Can we double it up? Ah. Oh, no, we got another Ormus. Wrong double. That's not the double I wanted. Okay, so yeah, we did get achievement. So we literally have done 60 and we've gotten four spheres. So we are perfectly on par, even though we're doing fate, we're on par with guidance, like the exact number. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Wham. All right. I was thinking it was an Olivia at first. I'm like, oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Nah, it is. All right. Let's get this converted over to more stellar shards. Never crystals of transcendence. And let's power our girl up here. So let's get... Is that enough to finish this? I don't know. I want to even them out. Let's go like 25. Not quite enough. It's close. It's very, very close to getting V3. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of want to build two V2 heroes, though. For Aspen dungeon purposes and just content. Granted... We can build two V2s before a V4. It's not like it's half. It's, it's, I mean, we're at the halfway point when we hit V3, but uh, we can split that into multiple heroes, and I think that'll be better. Wall deck, you're going to sit there for a bit. So I think the plan is when we do get more food, maybe by the end of this week, especially if we do profit orbs, um, I think I want to try and make two 10 stars and not put them into wall deck but instead to make the penny of v2 on top of the eloise now this is going to be very tight to see if we can get what we want here we still need what about five thousand gems to finish this event out here five thousand means five more spins and that means we need to get three in five that could be sketchy but again like i said we have more gems coming to us this week that we can claim out actually i wonder if any of the arenas close out Five days here, so that's too slow. Um, free team arena will be too late anyway, even when we do sign up here. Got to make sure we throw a team in, though. That's going to be important, and we got to register a team. Uh, interdimensional arena is not going to end fast enough, and star arena is not going to end fast enough. So no extra resources coming from that, but we could have more here. Man, there's one thing that I really struggle with here is the boss that can heal. Like, have you guys fought the boss that heals? It's sketchy when you're using an Eloise as your main damage dealer. Luckily, this one's not that one, so we're okay. I think the Eloise has got this. I think she's tanky enough. Uh, she does have CC removal, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the Tix Ghost is putting in work right here. My goodness, I should just use all Tix Ghosts on this fight right here. Through that, give me more Tixes. <laughs> let them die, let the Ghost tick, while our Eloise just simply survives and let them explode everywhere. 
Tons of actives. Yep, yep. Get let those ghosts start ticking. End of every round. You're gonna explode, aren't you? Next round. <laughs> Tixes. Tixes are awesome for stuff like this. It's so good. Look at the damage just ramping up. Watch end of round damage. He's probably gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Tix ghosts as five stars, even though they're so weak, it's just so fun. All right, all right. So we do need to jump in here manually because the rewards are going to be, or the uh, the mine is very, very close. So I want to manually do the mine. The last one in there. Yeah, let's go back to the full squad. Oop, there's even more down here. Let's get that going here. Normally I'll smash if I think I'm not gonna get to the, the mine within the smash but we're just like literally one tile away so i definitely want to get in here and do the mine and put some heroes in to get those bonus crystals of transcendence that's the best part and the fastest most optimal way to get what you need so right here we need yeah it doesn't really matter who we put in just the 10 star above miss out on a little bit but uh at least we get some extra stuff so that's pretty solid and then we'll just smash the rest of this out here uh yeah that looks like a good path to me let's go sure we'll throw the drake in there uh okay we can make some progress here maybe um just skip some fights that we've beaten before which eloise pretty much takes care of all these in area six we might get a few more resources here which is nice I highly suggest you take the time and push as far as you can completely free every single time this is open because there's chances to get profit orbs, heroic scrolls, there's chances to get everything. Now, some of these planets are just much, much tougher than others. I don't know if I've actually beaten any planets here. Looks like I've beaten this planet, so I'll take the win. I've beaten this planet, I'll take the win. Oof, some of these waves are brutal. Carries, I just, ugh, I hate carries. I hate Drake's more though. Wait. <laughs> I think we beat that wave. We might need to give us protection though. Yeah, let's give us some protection on this planet. Or shadow. There we go. Maybe we can get a W. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see. Um I don't know. That's that's kind of a sketchy lineup. That's better. I think we can beat that. Yeah, we can beat that. Can we actually get one more planet done here? <sighs> I want to reset, but I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like I shouldn't. I should just go in with what we have. Oh, man. We can't reset now, but we can give ourselves our fortress protection. Oh, come on. Can we win this battle? Penny does a little bit of damage, but not much compared to a ticks. Probably better off just using the ticks, to be honest. Well, when she does crit, it's still a lot of damage. And plus, our Eloise doesn't really care if she doesn't have energy. As long as she can survive, the pings from the Russell will be fine. Nice. The counterattack killed him. And the reflect damage. Oh, no. Carries coming back is brutal for us, though. Yeah. The problem is the carries here. The carries just popping back up. It's very difficult for Eloise to kill all the carries within the same round. But we managed to get it cleared out, which is good. First time I think going to Pioneer 4, we only have a few attempts. This looks doable. We're just going to use our protection signets because why not? We're not going to get to the next difficulty anyway. This should be easy, but some of these heroes get a little sketchy. They're not carries, they're not Garudas, but they can still be very, very tough. I think we got this. She seems very tanky compared to this enemy team. Yeah, nice and easy. Cleared that one out. That's the one that looks a little difficult. Might be difficult. Definitely difficult. Might be difficult. Let's go over here. Let's get our fortress protection for the penny as well. There we go. Oh, I have the wrong ticks in the last slot. That one doesn't have energy. Yes, give me all those counterattacks. Let the damage pile up. Honestly, the where the ticks go, Sar, is very good for us. Those are the tankiest of the heroes, besides the Garuda, I guess. We do need to avoid the next Garuda active, though, and I don't think we're going to be able to. 
Well, she might die from counterattacks because we didn't hit her. Yes, this is perfect. Now they do have some Amon Rush. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, we'll take that. Uh, I think this might be the other one we can clear out here. Let's get some fortress protection again. Man, we're just wasting protection sickness, but it is what it is. This one's going to be difficult. Garuda, Russell, and two carries. Honestly, I don't think this one's going to be a win. I don't think so. Yeah. So, that's good for there. Let's just check our void arc. Make sure there's, uh, see if there's anything else to do. Nope. We're good there. All right. So that's all the resources we're going to get for the time being. I really don't see a point doing like our basic and friendships. Let's just see. Did, did we get any more stellars there? I think we might get a uh, We got some. We got like 12,000 it looks like. But it wasn't enough to actually make progress on her imprinting to V3. We could wait for Aspen Dungeon. Let's jump in and see what we can do here first though. Um... I like. I really like the idea of running the Ignis here to give her more CC protection because she's going to be petrified, horrified. There's a lot of different things, but I feel like we might need to instead change it over. Oh, well, she's got lots of good healing end of round. It's just these Aspens are going to wreck her so bad with the multiple layered hits. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get that one done at all. So tower is going to be a pause for right now might as well jump into aspen dungeon but let's make sure our setups are good to go very tanky with control purify i like that we also have penny with full out attack and mark purify granted she's not going to do that much damage sadly wall deck uh, i guess we could invest a little bit more in his stone right now see if we can get him up to like celestial like celestial one because it only takes a couple levels in a gate to get you out of it and block HP sucks. Let's go one more. HP, HP sucks. Okay, I guess we'll just keep it. He's going to be our tanky boy right here. <laughs> oh, man. All right, it's fine. We might have use for him. We might not. It's fine. Let's get our team in. Let's get some gems. Only about 203 demon potions is very, very rough. We do want... Oh, my. What is this? <laughs> That's the best offer I think I've ever seen in this entire history of Idle Heroes for Wishing Coin. Oh my god, there's even more. Guys, it is raining Wishing Coins for us. And that's good though, because eventually we are going to need to do uh, some Wishing Coin events. And this is pretty much one of the only ways we are getting them right now. I don't really want to buy the green goo. I feel like we're fine. I don't want to overbuy stuff right now. Any more wishing coins? Nah, sad, sad, sad. Okay, well, let's jump out, go back in. Can a penny beat her heads up without any void imprints? I don't know. I feel like it's going to be a no. It's definitely going to be a no, but it did weaken her up. You know, I bet a wall deck could beat her. I bet. Yo, that was close. Okay. <laughs> she was weak. Oh, God. Come on, game. Why do you do this to me? Why do you do the things that you do? I hope this Eloise can win. Although she has CC Purify, which doesn't help. Oh my god, I hate Aspen Dungeon with Eloise. That was a 450. <laughs> We're going to be facing a lot tougher opponents in this run. Like, a lot tougher opponents. So I'm really, really praying and hoping that we can do this. Oh my god, really? Really? We'll use a demon potion to get around when active. Oh, I think we die. I literally think we die right here, even with a demon potion with almost a full energy bar. Oh, jeez. Active gonna kill us? Yep, active's gonna kill us. That's so stupid. <laughs> I hate Aspen Dungeon so much. I want to put the inference back on Penny, but I just can't do that right now. Like, I just can't do it. Oh, can the wall deck? No, 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 no. We gotta wait. <laughs> we need the gems this week. I don't even want to spend 500 to swap the imprints back because, uh, yeah, we got some stuff we gotta get done. Maybe some profit orbs if it means we're going to be able to get to here. It just depends. And honestly, we might not even do a full loop. Who was the reward again? It was uh, Andrea. Eh. Guess give us queen and a core. 
We'll see. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time.